Woo! So we are here live with my dear friend, Lauren Powers, and this is going to be a power hour. You know, she has been fearlessly, oh my gosh, five fit, fit fabulous, interviewing 28 amazing women all over the globe, you guys. And she is a world-renowned fitness celebrity, number one international best-selling author in 98 categories, 11 countries, actress, model, um, celebrity, and you know what? International speaker. And she's all about women empowerment. And I'm so honored to interview Miss Lauren Powers today. And welcome, Lauren. Um, I am so excited and I think we need to start with probably your sizzle reel. So let me um, pull that out. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you guys a little bit about Lauren for those of you that don't know who she is. So welcome and let's dive in. people's attention but my message is very global and very personal and what that is it's never too late to look great lauren powers is 50 years old wow super strong she won the overall women's heavyweight bodybuilding championship the strongest women in the world do too much lauren powers a tradition the annual muscle beach competition at venice beach and we asked eight-time title holder lauren powers why she keeps coming back it's never too late to look great from the inside out i'm 51 still kicking butt and taking names <laughs> I've done so many things. I've been a firefighter, engineer in my hometown. But what happened? I got discriminated against. Why? Being different. But have I let that bother me? No, I can't. They let anything stop me. When one door closes, not only did a window open, but the world opened. Hi, my name is Lauren Powers, and I'm a fitness celebrity supermodel. I've been bodybuilding for the last decade of my life. I've been on E! True Hollywood with my own story. TLC. My name's Lauren. I'm from South Orange County. Did to bodybuilding. I start in the morning. I train as long as I do. And I never get enough. HBO, Bryant Gumbel, Real Sports. The motors make money. The supplement co companies make money. The photographers, the magazines, all these things. But for the athlete themselves, they're the ones that are treated... The least. My latest thing music video was Principal with Lady Gaga. It's your lucky day. Some idiot bailed you out. I come from a professional skateboarding background. And now I live this extreme, awesome lifestyle from surfing, stand up paddling, you name it, I do it, and I do it well. Your female bodybuilder. Why are you a celebrity it's fitness it. diva? Why are you diva? Hello, have you seen me? How much do you bench press? How much do you weigh? Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Oh, don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Stay feminine. Yeah. Like, and I think that's why I get so much work, is because I still look like a woman and, you know, I just have hard muscles. <laughs>
So, well, may I introduce Miss Lauren Powers. Lauren, I'm so excited to interview you today. That was quite an introduction. <laughs> I, I'm having flashbacks. I, I guess I've done a lot recently. And that's just the, the highlights. I've done so it's many more things. It's just the tip of the that's iceberg right. of yeah, what you've awesome done. Part. And you know what, tonight, I, we're really gonna go raw and very deep into your story and there's no holding back and that's what I love about you. And I wanna share with the audience, I know recently you've been, I mean, becoming a number one international best-selling author a year ago in 98 categories in 11 countries. And you've been reading your chapters, your book, your life, your life's work. Yeah, on, on Facebook live. And yes, I have to ask I you have. this first question. This is so, how has it made you feel reading your own life stories? And what has been your takeaways? Well, I either very courageous or very crazy. <laughs> I haven't figured out which one because I couldn't even get through the introduction, Crystal. I'm not kidding without just the tears and my heart just blew right open. And I was so vulnerable and I'm kind of probably cry just thinking about it because I don't, I don't even know what made me so um, sensitive, but I guess because I haven't looked at it since it's been published, really, because yeah. you know, it was so much writing it. By the time it came out, I was like, I'm on another project. Exactly. So now after being in the leadership, yeah, after being in leadership course, um, I just wanted to stretch myself and I'm like, okay, what can I do? We've been in uh, lockdown and quarantine for the last three, almost four months, right? And I'm like, what can I do that's really stretchy, gets me out of my comfort zone while I'm still at home by myself, and I'm like, I know, I'll read my book live. <laughs> Which has been phenomenal. And the tears. Yeah, um, my every stories. Chapter, I, almost every chapter I have opened up and cried because it's like I'm reliving my, my life and my experience. But I come from such a, a place that I'm to inspire other people through my journey. And that with the workbook, that in the combination of the two and just having people on there and ask me questions. And just being really authentic, like you said, really raw, obviously. I, I don't even read ahead. I just open up the book and I hit record and hit live. And there I go and I just start. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes I can't even choke out the words. And, and, but the, the more I've done that, the more vulnerable I get. It seems like the more people I connect with. Exactly. And, I think that, and, it's, and that's new to me because, believe me, I wasn't a big open crybaby <laughs> ever like I'm you know so I'm this big fierce female and every you know this big champion bodybuilder and all this stuff that you just saw in the videos right however I've turned into this marshmallow <laughs> oh <laughs> and Lauren, I love that Lauren Marshmallow Powers <laughs> that's my new name don't tell anyone okay oh, we won't I, we won't uh, it's it, uh, even though it's exposed out there in the universe right now yeah you right know what? that teasing. is powerful because right yeah. now everyone in the world is looking for that vulnerability and the authenticity and i don't know anyone better than yourself um that's real raw and you have nothing to hide and i want to yeah, ask it's all you book. <laughs> i know it's, it's, it's an open book you are <laughs> and your workbook I, so i, I want to ask you this question that um what, and this is a big one, and then I'll pull up some, you know, some slides here, but what was that defining moment, Lauren, in your life? Because you come and you have rose up from addiction, from being discriminated against, and to become a 10 time champion and in the bodybuilding world and a celebrity, you've worked with many celebrities. And I have a lot of questions here at the end on the celebrity okay. part. And a lot of questions have come in by promoting this. Um, those questions that maybe, um, you know, questions that people put out that you don't want to answer that are hidden. And that's why I love interviewing you. So, what was that defining moment in your life that shifted everything for you? 
Okay, you're right. We are going deep. <laughs> um, <laughs> right away. Yeah, I like it. Dive right in, baby. Well, go deep or go home. <laughs> well, there's been a, there's been a few, Crystal. Um, you mentioned the addiction and discrimination, and those are two separate issues, but they're both ginormous for me, actually, for a turning point. One is uh, now that I'm 26 years clean and sober. Yes, I just had my 26th birthday a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so it's a big deal. Thank you. And that's been a huge turning point because I tell you, if I didn't stop that lifestyle, even though it was amazing and fun and I have no regrets, I'm telling you, I learned so much, you know, back in the 80s, champagne and cocaine. I'm not going to lie. I was a hot shot. I was on jets and yachts and, and having a, a, the life of the rich and famous and living in Hawaii, teaching surfing and just having a blast. Since I was what, like 21 years old, I, I just, you know, partying my brains out at a high level, <laughs> like I do yeah. everything, 100%, actually over 100%. I like over, <laughs> went over at everything. Part. <laughs> I partied yeah. enough for like five, five people, they said. But the turning point was just when I had enough, when it stopped being fun, it wasn't uh, rich and famous anymore. It was like, whatever, you hit bottom. It's yeah. like I was at my bottom. I looked around, I kicked all these people out of my house. It's all in my book, the story. I'm like, you guys, I'm done. I'm changing my lifestyle. I can't do this. I was skinny. I hadn't eaten. Um, I was hanging out with crazy people. I had enough cocaine in my house to put me away for life. Literally. Wow. If I go big, if I, anything I do, I do it all the way. And this was, you know, this well, was Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, and, and I did. And, and that was the thing to do. It was very popular then. And so, you know, all the rock stars and celebrities were yep. doing it. You know, and I, I just fell into that same, that, that same lifestyle at the time. And, and again, I have no regrets because it's made me the person I am today. But I had that moment. I just looked around. I called my mom. I called. She's like my chosen sister. And I'm like, I need to change. This is, I'm going down the tubes. You know, my body was failing. I looked like crap. I thought I looked good, you know, size yeah. zero, whatever. And, you know, we do. It's, and then, but so I just snapped out of it. It was Memorial Day weekend. My sobriety birthday is June 2nd. So I just celebrated that. And I, I've never looked back. And that's, that's a huge thing. And I, I, I talk about that. And I, I like to promote this because if you have an addiction of any kind, you really have to have um, the mindset that we talk about in speaking, but also yes. in our lifestyle. And, it, it, and it's huge. And I've carried that through my whole life. I just set my mind to this, you know, God willing, of course, but just made a, a change. And I read the serenity prayer and I resonated with that so deeply. I say it every day and I just stay in gratitude for my life every day, who I can help that and serve other people, get out of my way. And it's changed my life. So when this thing happened to me in the fire service, which is when the, the big discrimination case yes. happened, gender and this discrimination. this story is powerful. I, Lauren. Yes, that's a huge. Yeah. So share with the audience yes, how really you well. came from that. What was the light bulb moment? And I think you shared with me at one moment, sitting by the pool, that light bulb moment. With the your fire service? Your grandmother, your grandmother. Oh yeah, I was sitting, yeah, so after I was sober a year, I'm like, what am I gonna do with my life now? And I was literally had this vision, epiphany, download, whatever you wanna call it. I'm like, I am gonna be a firefighter. <laughs> it's like, this came to me out of nowhere. And I called one of my best friends and I used to dress up a lot and, and wear hats, that was like my thing. And she's like, oh, that's perfect. You get to wear a hat. <laughs> and I'm like, I believe they call it a helmet, but yes, yeah. you're right. It's so funny. But so I, what I do, I just got my car. I knew one firefighter ever. I met him in Palm Springs, him and his girlfriend. I went over there. It was in Newport Beach. I walked in. I'm like, oh, I'm ready. I want to be a firefighter. And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. And they're like, what do you mean? You have to go to school. You have to go to an academy. You have to pass physical agility. You have to get certain grades. You have to have all this academics. It's a big deal. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I haven't been to school in 33 years. Well, I'm just sure. So sure enough, I went, I went back to my grandma's, got on the phone, called the school he recommended. It was the number one in the country. Yeah. Just so when they had orientation that following Monday, this was a Friday on Monday morning, I'm in the college signing up for 21 units, which is insane. I haven't been to college in 33 years, something like that. Put my backpack on, my little <laughs> baseball cap, went back to school with these 18 to 20 year old boys. And I'm a 33 year old woman, right? 
and yeah. kicked all their butts in school. We became number one in every single academic course there was, not over just in my own class, but the entire uh, curriculum of that particular, like, like fire behavior 101 or whatever it yeah. was, 102, 103, we had to take 104, 105, 106. There was all these different courses. Wow. Became number one in every single one of them for, for the whole semester. Kept all these cards in hindsight, which is amazing because this is leading up to a lawsuit. Right. But at the time, number one in everything, and I was a female and older than everybody, went to the fire academy, which was a whole other story about becoming physically fit. That was huge. I had to completely change my lifestyle. I was water skiing and wakeboarding. I lived out in Canyon Lake. I thought, oh, I've got this. I was, you know, all cocky walking onto the fire grounds. Yeah. I'm like, I got this. Are you kidding me? I'm a, <laughs> I almost threw up. <laughs> I was oh like, there's people, but yeah, oh yeah. There and was to be a female in that with a firefighter. Brutal. I mean, that's huge. And yeah, the discipline. Brutal. Well, the fire, the, the agility itself was so grueling at the time. They've changed it since. My academy, actually, I was the last academy to go through before they And what academy, and you were in Laguna uh, Beach? I was in the 100th Basic Fire Academy in, in Orange County, California. It was okay. around Yondo. And it was a big deal. It was the hundredth. We graduated at the pond, which is where they big, held big concerts. And it was the first 99 classes had come. And it was a really, really big deal. And being a girl going through it was a huge ordeal. The news channels followed me and made a big ordeal. It was all over the media. I, I cut my hair off with the boys like G.I. Jane. Wow. I wanted to shave it bald. They had a, before we started, every, all the guys shaved their head completely bald at a big party before day one. And, but the chief wouldn't let me. He wanted to make sure. I look still look like a girl and I was half the size I was when I was competing I couldn't keep any fat on because it was so it was like going to boot camp in the military very similar full-time grueling your boots had to be shine your collar for everything it was insane wow every day in the academy was not to be injured that was my goal every single day just to get through one day at a time literally yeah half flying colors kicked butt got hired by two different fire stations you know I loved the job everything I had in my whole being was to be a full-time firefighter and I and then it. it did not happen it did it didn't happen. and and i use this as an example to show that no matter what you go through in life whether it's you know this was a gender discrimination lawsuit in the workforce but it doesn't matter what it is don't let that take you down instead it was i'm not gonna <laughs> i'll be let me just be transparent here that was right. it was Stating, I had to listen to 35 depositions for a year and a half of why these. Oh my hurt. God, Lauren! That was brutal, but you know what? I, in hindsight, I look back, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. One, I wasn't supposed to be a firefighter at any station. I was meant for more, literally yes. meant for more. And I've been told this by different mediums, psychics, um, spiritual healers, like yes. all kinds photographers. of photographers. <laughs> yeah, and right. Everyone now, yes, you know Hollywood, but uh, so. It didn't take me down. It fueled me to move on, move through, change my mindset, change my course, get out of my own way, and just let, let God lead my journey now. And once I replaced that fear of that failure that I thought it was and replaced it with faith and just took the footsteps, literally, and just got out of the way and woke up every day and just said, okay, what, what am I meant to do today? And my life completely got easier. I just followed my spirit guide, if you will. God just led me and I've never looked back. Yeah. And literally, and it was amazing. I mean, I, I completely got launched into my fitness career. Like I said in the video earlier, you see me speak on stage and I share this because like yeah. when one door closes, not only did the, uh, another door open, like the world opened up for me, literally. I was an international superstar overnight. Overnight. Yeah, I went to Las Vegas and I was on a plane to Chicago on national TV, talk shows. I was a celebrity guest. I've been in you know numerous commercials, films, TV, um, anything to do with it. They needed a fitness person. I I was there, but I did the work. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, you I did. did the work. I went to and the I, Honestly, Lauren, I do want to bring you back to the addiction part. You know where you were and what that light bulb moment before all the celebrity, because I will bring up, you know, all of that here in a bit. You just want to see me cry. <laughs> I, seriously. I do enough of that if I read my book. I know, no, I, but doll, this is what people yeah. want to know out there. And the questions that I've gotten, you know, how did you go that from that light bulb moment being 
in your own home and realizing you needed to get clean and get the help and get sober and the treatment and how did you pay for it? I mean, how did you transition into that to get the help? I, I definitely want to dive into that right now before we move on. Well, no, it's a, it's a good, it's, it's no, it's a, it's a good thing. Cause I'm, you know, supposed to be anonymous, but nothing I do is anonymous. So I'm a, a yeah. public figure. So it, my whole life is out there ready for yeah, the public. It is. So, and I, but I use that for a platform for, for good. And like, if I can help other people get sober and, and I can sponsor others and through my story and what I did and how I did it and share my experience, strength and hope with newcomers, that's what, that's part of the process and part of the steps in the program, if you will, you've got to give it back. And so I treat everything in my whole life about giving back. The last chapter in my book is called Give Back. So love so that. Right? Yeah. And so, because you can't keep it unless you give it away. Mm -hmm. And it, that goes with any type of addiction, um, it doesn't, whether it's food, sex, gambling, drugs, alcohol, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's addiction is an addiction. Mine just happened to be like I told you, champagne and cocaine because I thought it yeah. was hot. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I drank a lot. You went of to a rehab. You went yeah. to rehab. My mom took me to one of her best friends that they grew up. She knew me before I was even conceived. She knew my mom and dad when I was little. I mean, before I was born, she knew my my mom when they were little. And she happened to run, um, a be the dean of this rehab center in Orange County where I live. And she had me just go talk to her. And she said, this is in my book as well, because it's so, it's just so pertinent. She said, okay, Lauren, I've known you since before you were born and you are a smart woman. You have three choices here. You can <laughs> keep living the lifestyle you're doing and end up hospitalized, institutionalized, like in jail or a hospital going crazy. You can die. <laughs> yeah. Or you can stay here and get help and change your life. And that's all she said to me. This was how short the interview was. And I'm like, well, I don't like the first two. So I guess I'll no, stay. No, I guess I'm here. <laughs> so I stay. love it. And that was it. That's all she said. I called my mom. I'm like, I'm going to stay here. This is good. I read the serenity prayer there. I called my chosen sister. I read it to her. She started crying. She thought I made it up. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. a famous prayer, right? She's like, make that up. I'm like, no, it's on the wall. And I'd never been exposed to that. I literally didn't even know what a big book was. That's a, the book of Alcoholics Anonymous, right? Right. I just thought when people s s mentioned this big book. I just thought it was a large book. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my God. I love it. And I didn't. Yes, Lauren. I wasn't open to it. Because I didn't, I didn't know any sober people because I wasn't right. sober. So right. it's, it goes to show you attract what you want. And your yes. tribe is so important who you surround yourself with. I surround myself with high-level entrepreneur party people they were very wealthy and also indulged in lived this amazing lifestyle back in the 80s again remember i was not alone this was no the you weren't alone i was lived in the 80s i get it yeah, i mean so it was that was that was <laughs> <laughs> i totally get it sister i yeah, so i'm so proud of you because you just celebrated like you said last week 26 years sober and I have to commend you because Lauren, you are around now celebrities and events and people that are partying around you. And oh, yeah, it's keeps it's me sober. Very... That keeps me sober. <laughs> yes. It yeah, it does. It doesn't bother me. Like I went to the, I was only in that little clinic for I think three days, something like that. And I thought I graduated. Like I mesmerized all the steps. I memorized half this book. I, I'm an overachiever, right? I'm like, yeah. oh, I got this. It's great. Let me out of here. Well, that doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> so a 28 day thing. You asked how I paid for it. My dad paid for that, and it was a, a live-in deal in Newport Beach, and it was with all women. They just you learn new structure, which I didn't have any. I just did what I want every day, and so being very structured that you know head count in the morning and the night, and it puts yeah. you to the meetings and cook your meals and live with each other. And so it was, it was, it was for 28 days. And that was it. And then that's all it took really for me. And I started bartending at a wedding company and ended up leveling up wow. CEO of the whole company, right? <laughs> Look at the beach. <laughs> so you and come out drinks. of rehab yeah. and you're a bartender. I had rehab pouring drinks. Yeah. At weddings. And, and seeing all the drunk people really helped me stay sober too, because they, at yeah. weddings people go crazy, right? <laughs> I saw all this insane stuff because I was sober and I'm like, wow, man, these people are nuts. Wow. But it well, was fun to watch. 
and I don't care. I don't judge people. I mean, that's the whole thing. I've been judged no. my whole life. Yeah, and, and I'm just big- so proud of you. And I had to share that uh, with our audience because there's so much corruption and addiction out there, you guys. Mm-hmm. And Lauren has been through it. She walks the talk, talks the talk. And I'm going to share my screen so I can pull up some um, some surprises. More surprises. You're and cool. some um, celebrities that she's been with that are absolutely incredible um so are you seeing my screen get lauren yeah there's the book there's the book and dare to be different i love the book and you guys you've got to tune in to lauren change your screen yes and lauren yes there it is yeah yeah, you're dare to be different. And mm-hmm. you know, you guys, she's been featured TLC. Oh my gosh, Lady Gaga and beyond Lady Gaga, that sizzle reel did not show um, J-Lo, J-Lo. And Justin Bieber, right? Right. And There's you've me. been written up, you've been on multiple movies, TV, mm-hmm. E! True Hollywood, botched. And why don't you share a little bit about your bodybuilding experience and that she's a 10 time heavyweight bodybuilding champion. I mean, you went on from that firefighter story, a lawsuit onto this and share that experience and I mean, becoming the champion from within and leadership. You're all about leadership and empowerment and champion. So share a little bit about your successes and what lights you up, Lauren, with the fitness world. Well, yeah, after the, the firefighting thing, I had gotten really strong to pass that physical agility test. I told you that I almost wanted to puke all over the, the, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> event, which I did, and I took it 12 times to, before. Before I passed it and I passed it the very last chance before I went into that big hundred uh, fire uh, basic fire academy but I got so strong that when I went to the Olympia competition in Las Vegas which is huge in the fitness world never have been to one in my life and that's where I got discovered literally walking around at the expo got plucked out of the audience thrown on stage won a battle of the biceps contest first place won two tickets to the Arnold Schwarzenegger show to for airfare hotel and VIP with Arnold and this is my first experience <laughs> had a laugh. I was just like crazy and been on TV and started traveling all over the world. I've literally t- toured for 10 years, um, having a blast with another pro bodybuilder. It just was just amazing, amazing times, made money, traveled, just this great, great amazing lifestyle and competed all over the place, um, had tons of fun. But, um, you know, every time I competed was for a reason. Like I was in a reality show. I was representing our country. Japan came over and wanted to, to interview America. So I was like Miss America on the stage with my red, white, wow. blue outfit. Um, gosh, just so many different things. I was on Travel Channel, just different interviews. Every time the news came down, I was always on it. I mean, let's put it this way. They always tease me that I never met a camera that I didn't like. <laughs> yeah. And you are great. I mean, that's where I was like, I mean... Got when it. I talked to you last year and you were like at, you were at an event. I mean, we're the event queens and that's how Lauren and I met at an event. <laughs> um, in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, in Vegas. And it's interesting because you were like Les Brown and I'm like, Les Brown, you met Les Brown. And I was, I jumped out of my skin. And then the next thing I know, you're at his birthday, birthday party. party. <laughs> That's how I roll, baby. That's how I roll. That's how you roll, girl. And, you know, you are really big into personal development, obviously. Yes. And all this celebrity and a lot of people, you are viewers out there, you guys. Lauren, it just goes so much deeper than that. The celebrity and um, your 10-time champion traveling the world, being an international speaker and speaking on stages, I have to ask you, what would you say is the most accomplished, you know, piece that 
that you're very proud of in your business and your life? The most. Um, well, gosh, there's so many. Um, overcoming the discrimination, launching my book was a big, big, yeah, you know, um, challenge that I overcame, and and a big obstacle and a big project that promoting my own fitness competitions, from being a competitor to a guest poser, and then now promoter of my own shows the last six years, and standing and holding my own against the big collaboration that's out there that's all over the country. And I'm just one single girl just doing shows, um, hosting the world championships. In 2018, I had uh, 200, over 200 professional, beautiful, top in the country athletes from 40 countries come and compete on my stage. It was a three-day show. Very proud of that. We gave out pro cards and money. And it was just amazing. Very, very proud. Ha held the show in Huntington Beach. It was the largest uh, world championships in, in ever to be held here in the USA under my promotion. So I was super proud of that. Um, and then promoting my own women's empowerment events and then becoming a speaker without really even having programs, just getting up there and being raw and vulnerable and speaking from the yes. heart it tends to be my, my, uh, character if that's you will. Her MO, girl and that's that's part of how you're developing i mean how have you developed your core strategy how that's played into achieving that accomplishment right yeah do you want to take this light off because there's lady gaga yeah. there's amy fox there's yeah Nick let me Nick. um go one more oh we'll get into that later i'm gonna stop the share i'm gonna go back to us okay there so, you go <laughs> yeah I am. Um, so yeah, I want to dive into process. that core strategy that you've developed and being, I mean, the 10 time champion and obviously the bodybuilding world and what that's, um, it qualifies you obviously to um, being a speaker and putting these events together. Mm -hmm. And why did you put these events together? Um, share a little bit about that in the bodybuilding world. Well, I. I was, you know, competing, obviously, uh, many, many times. I have, you know, tons of trophies. <laughs> I'm done. I don't need any more trophies. <laughs> um, but it, the politics in the sport just really was bothering me and how the judges, you know, depend on what, who's your coach and how much money you spend and who you're sleeping with. I mean, this is real stuff. And I don't care if they come after me. This is legit. Everybody knows it. I'm not speaking out of school. And I just didn't like it. So what I do, I did something about it. I started my own. And I gave athletes a stage to compete on that's fairly judged based on the physique they brought to the stage that day, not who their coach is, not how much money they spend, not if they're married to a judge or on a team with a judge. Some of these things that like in ice skating or any other of those sports, yep. it's, you know, the judges, it's, it's, you're dealing with humans. And so I just started my own and it's just, it's been a really big deal. And then since then promoting those shows, I got into going to all these networking events with women's empowerment, got introduced to that just a couple years ago. And I'm like, oh, wow. So I'm like, I'll do a women's empowerment event. And so asking female speakers to be on my stage was so much easier than getting women to compete in a bikini. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's so, good to know. Yes. It was great. It was, everybody wants to speak like these speakers, you know, even now look at us. We want to speak in Singapore. Right. We want to speak everywhere. And so it's a, it's a much easier as a promoter to, to do that and get sponsors and vendors. And so I just love that. I just took my, um, my promotional abilities from fitness and moved it to women's empowerment. And that served my soul um, a little bit more at this, this point in my life, Crystal. I've done so much in fitness and, and kind of just like maxed out. And there's such a big organization out there that I was always fighting against. And it, it's yeah. just it just wore on me a little bit. You know, I gave everything I had to these athletes, you know, the best trophies, the best prizes, the best sponsorships, connections, and I share everything that I've got. I mean, literally, and then they just go on to do something else. It's like, yeah, oh. it's a lot. <laughs> and you know, it's a lot. And, and I did it for pa pure passion, not so much profit at all. Like it cost me money to, right. to for these people to come to my shows. And everybody knows that, but it's, you know, I was known as the show that gives back and I'm very proud of that. I hosted the world championships, as I said, and nobody can take that away from me. No and now, one can ever take it, that away, Lauren. No, never. And all the things I've got to do, I mean, the, all the music videos, like you mentioned, you know, I just did Justin Bieber. I just did Jennifer Lopez. I worked with Katy Perry. I mean, all the greats, I just, I get picked for it. So there's something to be said about that. I must right. be something right. 
And, you know, at my age, to be in a bikini in these major videos, it's kind of crazy. Like, who does that? Nobody. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing. You didn't even start bodybuilding. I mean, at an 40. age that 40. these people are retiring. retiring. Most right? people are retired at 40. I started at 40. And I'm proud of that. I won a, a, a show yes. at 40. And then a decade later at 50, I won the same show. And again, nobody can take that away from me. And mm -hmm. And that's that, and and it's you know I, a true I, champion, and and so inspirational. Thank so you. it's lifestyle, though you see, and that's that's what launched me into having my own um, six-step proven formula called the. Yes, formula. that was my next question. So yeah. share a little bit about your process, your program, and your six-step process. What absolutely because through everything I've been and all my experience and now I consider myself an inspirational transformational health expert and I focus on females to become fit fierce fabulous and financially free <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. but that's you know I, I do that um, to share because so many women now that I surround myself with we're, you know, we're women entrepreneurs and we're so busy, even myself, building that our businesses that we forget about ourselves. Yes, we do. We're really, really focus on making health our top priority so that we can live this life of abundance, become a better version of ourselves from the inside out. And I take people from where they are now, I just meet them where they are, and then where they want to go, we fill in the gap through the Fierce Formula, through assessment, nutrition, supplements, of course, a little bit of exercise, we got to move. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mindset, you know, it's all starts with the mind. And as you know, and every speaker I know has says mindset, 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 but why? Because it is so important. It is. It is. And like, you know, even change my addiction and my mindset, it's all my mindset. I made a decision and I just stuck to it. It's just that simple. Well, and it, but it's no, it's a lot of work, but it's, if you, it's, it can be simple if you exactly. allow it. Exactly. And I want to bring up the I point, see. Lauren, of you and I both know, I mean, because I was a competitive ice skater back in the day, skated with four Olympic gold medalists, was, you know, mentored by Carlo Fossi. And we understand the importance of having a coach. Oh, it's, absolutely. Yeah, talk about that, how important it is, because you would not be where you're at today without having coaches to help you, push you. Absolutely. And what I love is that you're lifting up others what you seeked out and did in the fitness world to lift others up and you went against the grain and wow you. that is powerful yes big deal well and i talk about this as well because as women we tend to compare ourselves to one another or compete against each other in yes. some, you know, some way whether we do it consciously or unconsciously it's kind of an innate thing but instead of tearing each other down, I am all about lifting each other up and collaborating. So it's a different C. Instead of competing and comparing, I collaborate. Much easier. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Much easier, right. You get clear on these things and your life just changes. And it has, it has for me, and, and I, I'm just staying gratitude. And I think that is one of my, my key tips to mm. share is that we can choose how we have our our attitude every single day that when we wake up, we can choose to be grumpy, sleepy, you know, not motivated. We can make excuses yeah. back into oral stories, whatever it is. And a true leader just chooses to be positive, go through the motions anyways, get to the other side of whatever it is. My whole book is about my personal experiences and how I have triumphed over tragedies and excel and use those things to propel me instead of bring me down. Right. And these are the things that I teach in my, in my fierce formula. It's not just lifting weights. That's the least thing that it is. So let's just be clear with that. You know, yeah, I'm a bodybuilder and all that, but that's, that was, that's what I did. That's not really who I am. That's yeah. why the book's beneath the muscle. Cause if you read this, you'll see there is so much more to me than just muscles. It's, that's just, the, I it's use beneath that. It. Shell. <laughs> yeah, that and, and I look at that as a shell, but it's so important to, that's why I say to become a better version of yourself from the inside out, because it's so important to have that when we look good and we feel good and we fit into our favorite clothes and we have that confidence, what happens? We start making more money. We make better choices. We, we live better. We're happier. And this is how we can build wealth and with, through our health. And then it's happening. And my, my whole show 
the power hour tv.com which we're going to talk about because that's yes we that's, are we're going to talk about that and look yeah, this oh is my gosh ceremony this interview will be is the opening ceremonies for that so i want everybody to kind of get to know me a little bit what i've been through and why i chose these certain female experts to be on this show i've hand selected every single one of them and chris i'm really proud to say that I've been supporting so many people in the, in the last couple of years with all the networking and women's empowerments and events and traveling and doing all these things that I've done that I never asked anybody for anything. And so when this came wow. around, I decided to do the online show. I picked my people and I, every single one, hundred percent of the ones I asked said yes. And I was just That's like, phenomenal. I'm phenomenal. So, yeah. It's, it's feedback for me. And, and it just shows when you give, 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 and then ask, it makes things so much better. So if you're enrolling people in your own programs or whatever it may be, keep that concept. At give, give, give. Before you ask, just don't go exactly. in with an offer. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why I love, Lauren, you put this summit together because yeah. this is some powerful, powerful women. And oh, you guys, I, I'm going to have to bring, you you bring up the slides. Well, you talked about how important it is to have a coach. I've had, um, I learned from my posing, my, when I first started the bodybuilding, I learned from the best. They were two top Miss Olympias and they taught me how to pose right away. So everything I've done, I learned from the best, the champions, the winners. And so I just go right from A to B. I don't, there's no, you there's know, no I don't have time to mess around. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> I just go, you know, directly. I do that in everything in my life. And so same thing with this women's empowerment and entrepreneurs. I went right to the top of everything that I've been to. I meet the CEO the founder, the president, what, whoever it is, I meet them. And, uh, it's just how I roll, but it's, it's, that's my way, but it's because it's connections and I've built these relationships and I'm very, very proud of that and very grateful and so blessed that they're all in my show coming up. What well, if you uh, slip through and let, let, yeah, the let know. me go there. And what I want to share you guys is you are going to say by diving into this free mm. summit, 15 to 30 years on the learning curve from these yeah, powerful cut that right off. women. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. period. You guys, and the financial money. I cannot even tell you. I've spent a half a million dollars to get here. And you guys, you are learning from the top 28 females. Yes, 28. We're going to go there. And you guys, authors, speakers, international speakers, and influencers okay. that are going to help you all of us and i'm so proud of lauren for putting this summit together so let's dive in and i'm going to share my screen yeah, we're going to get a sneak sneak, we're peek, a of sneak who, peek yes here we go who's to come on the show so make sure you guys opt in while she's getting that pulled up yeah we'll have the link below but it's powerhourtv.com super simple yeah. All the uh, influencers are there, and each they're going to be an uh, hour show each day for this online TV show. Again, the top I can find. You got the slides? Yeah. Do you see my screen? No, I just see yeah. purple. Uh oh. Okay. Here, hold on. Let me play this. Stop share. Let me go yeah, back. Yeah, let's do it again. I'll do it again. Right, so expect technical difficulties, but we just keep going. That's how. Chris yeah, we keep I rolling with it. Here we go. We are fierce. Here's the fierce logo. While you're doing that, I'll show this on my screen. Do you see my it's screen now? Only the just the top <laughs> header of something. Power hour. hour <laughs> do you see hear it? it? And hear it? Yeah, that's done. There you go. There now we, we go. go. So here we are. You take it over, Lauren. Yeah, so this is where I've gathered over 25 female executives sharing their top secrets on how to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. And here's the key, you guys. They've all done it without sacrificing one for the other. Because again, I, I meet so many business women that they've sacrificed their health because they're so busy building their wealth. But let me just tell you right now, without your health, what is your wealth? And I'm here to tell you, I've trained very wealthy people in my, my 30 years experience. And the toys, the homes, the cars, the jets, all of this stuff means nothing if you don't feel good and you can't get on a plane or your own plane or anything and enjoy yourself if you don't feel good. So you've got to put that mindset on your health first. 
that's my whole basis. That's my passion. This is what I'm here for. Everything I've learned, I share with my clients how to be fierce female from the inside out. But this, is a, this isn't about me. This is about my, my experts. There they are. There's their beautiful faces, all of them. That's a nice collage of everybody. And I believe we have separate banner, banners on each one. I'll just- and Here you oh, go. Queen. Here we go. <laughs> Amy Yamada, amazing, amazing high ticket mastery coach. Love her. She was my coach in uh, my leadership course. This woman is amazing. She's going to show you how to enroll and be yourself. And Bennett is Renegade Branding. So she gets, tells you how to brand yourself and kick butt. And be a, she's a top speaker. She's amazing. Who else do we have here? Caprice, she runs HeartLink uh, Women's Organization. It's amazing, all about giving. And each one of these has gifts as well, you guys. So when you tune in, you, each day you're going to get a free gift, and I highly suggest it. Oh, who's that? <laughs> yeah, hello. And I have major yeah. gifts. Yeah. Voice to visibility. Yeah, Dinosaur voice to Pino. visibility. I'm all about voice to visibility and getting with online to increase your visibility, catapult your credibility, and impact your audience and income. I was so honored and we had so much fun in the interview. Lauren, so much fun. Yeah. And then we've got Diana Sabatino. She's a dear friend. She's uh, one top executive managing director for eWomen Network, who is amazing. I went to Dallas. There was 118 uh, chapters there. Diane Kayser is a, a top uh, functional fitness expert. She gives a lot of tips and tricks and tons of free gifts on the back end for your health and for leaky gut issues. Dee Dee Wong, my twin sister. <laughs> Dee Dee Wong from Hong Kong. I know we look exactly alike, we always tease. She's an international world speaker, women entrepreneur. She's so awesome, authentic, yeah. went to India with her. We, she she's was, my dear, dear friend. She's, she's an amazing so much fun. speaker. She's amazing, yeah. so you guys tune into her as well. She's, she shares from her heart. Each one of these speakers, literally I brought out something in them that we we got real emotional what, what have you there's esther who does the code breaker with ai techniques and bank on why they buy so you want to learn different language right there's your girl she's given a bunch of uh, uh different uh, gifts as well super awesome with her and sherry tree run that felicia another uh, millionaire maker she's amazing she's a spiritual guru it's awesome Ooh, I love the spiritual piece, Lauren. Yeah, she's very spiritual. Yes, I got a, I got a little uh, of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look at who, oh, yeah. who's here. Yeah, Forbes. She's, she's cool. She's, she's a health guru as well. TV host. She's done like a billion, million, zillion dollars on, um, what do you call it, uh, Q QVC or whatever. Yeah, you know, those, QVC. Oh my yeah. gosh, if I, bu I bought her stuff from her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I got a cruise with her, a marketer's cruise. We had a blast. She's super oh. cool. She gives a lot of good She made me cry on my own interview. Let me just tell you <laughs> up front. So if you want to see me cry, tune into Forbes Day. Yeah. And this is my queen. This is, this is, this is my, my celebrity. This is Dr. Harbin Aurora. I've been to India twice, and that was my first speaking gig on a huge stage with like 2,000 people, women from all over the world. Mamie took me there with, oh my gosh, Andrea went, Didi Wong was with there the second time. It was the most amazing You know what, thing. Lauren, share a little bit about that. You, when you arrived there this last time and speaking in front of all those women and the impact, I mean, what is it like to speak internationally? It's, it's amazing. And the, I'd like to be a participant, really, because I learned so much. Because she attracts women from all over the world. It's women economic form. And talk about give back. Her heart is so huge. I mean, every word out of her mouth, you just hang on to it. And I, mean, I was crying on stage. I, I got to give her my book and signed it and do a whole um, tribute to her from all my speakers. Because I, I run All Ladies League for her in Orange County. And I gave um, Women of Excellence and awards. And maybe you were there. Yes, it was phenomenal. I, I'm just oh, so right. impressed. And yeah, she mailed India all the plaques. She she mailed all these plaques for me, and so the, the girls couldn't come to India to receive their award. So they did a, a video like the Oscars or something. Yes. Yeah. So she allowed me to play it on the big gravitron screens, and it was very emotional. I was crying. She was great. It was just amazing. So she's on the. She gave me an hour of her time from India. So I'm very honored she's on the show. Jackie Leffen, yes. another great speaker. She actually has forms for speakers and so she teaches you how to get on lists 
and podcasts yep. and live events. And she's got, she's got it going on. She does a whole slideshow on her um, presentation. Yeah. She's lot, amazing. But, I've met Jackie. Yeah. I've met a, a lot of these women. I know yeah, Esther. They're and, the yes. top people. Of course these you have. Great power women. Miss Jenna, she is, she runs the CEO of Brave Masters and she, she breaks down your ego. And so you can propel in business. She gives so much in her, her um, interview. Amazing. Love this girl. She's wow. just Oops. awesome. Uh oh. That was Jennifer Deep Stratton. What Somewhere happened? in there. I lost also my a, screen. Yeah, Do you, you see my screen? No. Hold on. But I got to go back and share Stratton. it again. Sorry. Yeah, I'll keep talking. Jennifer Deep Stratton is also another success sales, and she um, is an expert in high ticket uh, sales. So she helps you if you are a coach and you want to learn how to up your game and level up and start offering more money. She is your girl. Her name is Jennifer. Deep Stratton, there she is. And then after Jennifer, who do we have there? Lisa Sasevich, it looks like. Yeah. Oops, Lisa sorry. Sasevich is the queen of conversion and sales conversion. She's the top closer. She gave me another hour interview, which you guys can learn so much from her. She's got her best selling book out called Meant for More. Love that. There she is. She was one of my mentors and coaches. I did some VIP with her some boot camp things with her. You talked about coaches. I've worked with a lot of these people already and they've coached me. I've worked with Jennifer. I've worked with almost everybody here. Lisa, you, Crystal, Jenna, yeah. like I work with everybody. Laurel, Laurel Langmeyer is a millionaire uh, maker. She's a finance guru, queen of wealth. She claims she's, um, I've spoke on many stages with her. Miss Mamie, she's my mama. Yep. Mamie Lamely, yes, yeah, she's amazing. Baby is the best. She's she is. Just, she knows how to run events, and she yes. is incredible. A uh, big speaker with um, success, success resources. resources. Yeah. yeah, former. All of yep. So she she gave me an hour of her time, and we had a nice heart to heart talk. Love her. You can learn a lot from her. She also has some free gifts on there. Who's next? Big hearts. All these women have big hearts and so much to give. Yeah, Megan. Megan has the I Am Enough um, movement and nonprofit, and she's amazing. She comes from military. She's got a best-selling book herself. She's so great. She gets a whole list of gifts. She was very generous with her interview, and she's she's doing amazing wow. things right now. So, mm -hmm. Lauren, I bet you guys really connected with the championship and military. Hello, and the firefighter yeah, days. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we we met at City Summit. Uh, Megan here is the uh, CEO and founder of the Dames, which is a uh, high-level entrepreneur women's networking group. You have to be a seven, six or seven-figure income earner just to be part of her organization. So it's very for high success uh, leveled up females. Wow. Fabulous. Yeah. Uh, Mika Ella is also runs the Global Women of Los Angeles and she travels all over the world as a speaker and run summits in, in LA. I got to speak on her stage and she's she's my personal coach right now in business. Oh, she's wow. She's amazing and she also speaks in, in EQ. So emotional. Oh, emotional, um, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, she, so we've got her, she gives some gifts away. There's my other pal, Queen of Wealth, Miss Olympia. She's got a whole uh, game for maintaining and changing your mindset about wealth. Super awesome. Another good show to tune into. Every day is going to be amazing. Yes. I mean, how long? I mean, Lauren, this goes on for uh, how many days? It'll be a month. A month. Wow. Those, those, we have an interview. We'll have 28 speakers and then my wrap up on the end. So a 30 day show. And it's free. Yeah, it's you free. Guys, everyone has to opt I in. Opt my in. God. <laughs> Look at Paula's eyes. She's really intense. Yeah. Yeah. What she's does Paula amazing. do? What is Paula? She, um, gosh, I, I interviewed her so uh, long ago. She does um, like spiritual healing and connections and stuff like that. If I'm not mistaken, I'd have to look at her, the notes. I just met her and she was so powerful and, and I just loved her energy that I put her on the show. Yeah, beautiful eyes. Wow. Her. She's awesome though. She does yeah. meditations and just really. Oh. Robbie, Robbie has been around. She's like the global director for NAFI, which is National Association of Female Entrepreneurs. She is the, the the queen of the women's networking. Everyone knows Robbie. They all love her. She's nominated me for a bunch of awards for um, women's empowerment, for best uh, 
best-selling author, and I'll be getting different awards from her. She's she's really big in all of that. She's amazing. So tune into her as well. She's been around a oh. long time and really supportive women. She's great. Love well, her. I'm sure her knowledge. Mm -hmm. My gosh, wow. Yes, absolutely. Robin is, I met her at eWomen Network. She's a platinum member with me and she's amazing. She's a financial um, guru, advisor, and she's licensed in so many different things. And she's an all around wealth builder. Powerful information, really at the top of it. So she's, she's great. And there's Miss Sandra. She is the founder and CEO of eWomen Network. She is the yeah. queen, the top food chain of eWomen. If you are a women uh, entrepreneur, you know what that is. And she's across the country and they opened up Australia. And she, I'm so grateful for her, you guys. She came in on during COVID, the, the lockdown, quarantine, came in by herself into her office in Dallas and came in to personally be on my, my show. So wow. do not miss Andrew. Oh my gosh, we cried together. I mean, oh, this is amazing. The, 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 the interviews are just so raw, so authentic. They're like behind the scenes. You learn something from each one of these powerful women. And I'm just just so honored that they're on I know. This oh my God, Lauren, this is so oh. much fun. <laughs> it's a big deal. And Miss Tara, is. Tara's one of my, I love Tara. She's doing a um, vision to business. She's very spiritual and she's a leadership coach with Hardcore. I, I just finished um, a four month leadership and she was one of the coaches in there. And she's just amazing. So she's got some amazing gifts, a great story. We laughed. She's awesome, a beautiful soul. Wow. Has a lot to share. Yeah, she's Yeah, she's, the power of leadership, right? And championship. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. And for us to stand yeah. out as females. Absolutely. Tara is the bomb. And then Teresa, she, uh, isn't she beautiful? Yes. I met she, Teresa. Her, <laughs> yes, her story is. So heartwarming, you guys. And she's one of the ones that's been through just so much heartache and tragedy and now leads the most luxurious life of anyone I know. She's on TV all the time. She's a huge YouTuber. She films almost every day in her bazillion dollar home. She's got the rolls and the Bentley and all the toys, but she's grateful and she's so humble and a very dear friend of mine. And she's, she's so giving. She's giving her book away on the show, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But talk about traumatic experiences her story right. is very powerful how she's been through that and come up on top and lives this life of luxury but gives back she has she's got the largest closet in the world i mean you guys have got to look her up she is <laughs> awesome and she's like my sister people think we, we remind each other of her i've had strangers going to me going you remember this girl on tv that lives in, in texas and i go oh yeah Teresa." and they're like you know her like they're uh, like yeah. yes <laughs> yeah it's really cute so she was on the show well, her, her, and my daughters looked up her closet on her TV, on her TLC. Oh, my God. They were like, oh, my God, Mom, she's beautiful. Okay. I cannot wait she's to hear her so story, hard. Lauren, her story. Thank you hear it. It is very intense. And very, I had things I was, like, crying. It was, oh, my gosh, she's been through a lot. And that, my dear, is, is all a deal. We've got, you have quite the lineup here. Yes, so I where do. Where do people go to sign up for this summit that begins Monday? Right Power, PowerHourTV.com. We're going to start, yeah, this Monday. And this will be the kickoff uh, interview for it. So if you're watching this, you're going to be on the show. So I'm very, very thrilled. PowerHourTV.com is the landing page. You've got two opt ins there. We're super excited. And it's it's amazing. Don't miss one day, really. No, no they've got to opt it's in. Free, and, you guys. Yeah, it's free, you guys, and you're hearing obviously from some phenomenal women that are empowering. And Lauren, I'm so excited you've put this summit together. Thank you. I'm excited yeah, too. And I have to ask you something. I mean, More? now that you've gone through all these interviews, you know your mission and purpose in life now. Absolutely. And it's, you are so laser focused. You're fierce, fabulous at 50. <laughs> and it's all about family and fun. And share with our audience, summing up all of it, going through this summit, interviewing, how, you know, bringing out 
the best version of yourself and empowering women and going through this summit, what it's brought you in your life? Well, yes, it's been quite an undertaking. Like I, I told you, I was just thrilled that everybody was so positive. Like Forbes Riley's is like, Lauren, of course, we all want to be on your show. We all love you. And so that was really a big compliment. You know, she's yeah. been doing this a long time and we're in the same industry and we know a lot of the same people. In fact, her fiance won his pro card on my stage and when I, at the world championship. So it was very, we got very wow. connected and we were on a cruise together and all that stuff. So yeah, so, but just the connections, I think it has been so powerful and it goes to show you how important these relationships are. Don't ever judge who you're meeting if, you, if you're at these women's things. You never know who you're talking to and always be there to serve. And you put, put that intention out there first, you, you can't lose. You just serve, 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 give, 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 and things will come your way when they're supposed to. And just be patient and, and get out of your own way and be fierce and fabulous yourself. Don't try to be anyone else that you're, that you're not. Yeah. Be authentic to who you are because it takes a lot of energy to be someone else. <laughs> I don't does. understand that. But it does. I'm and so, so proud of you. I'm so Thank proud you. of you for putting this together. It's a lot of work, but our audience needs to know they're missing everything if they don't tune in. I mean, saving 15 to 30 years on the learning curve and millions of dollars. I mean, these women have spoken and impacted millions of lives. Right, Absolutely. Lauren? Yes, they're huge speakers. Yes, they're the top of the food chain. I miss Shelly Hunt. I didn't see her. She's also the CEO oh, and founder. Oh, yeah, Shelly. Shoot. Women of Global Change. Women of Global Change. She's a good friend. She's endorsed my book. Um, Shelly Hunt. Yes, yeah, Shelly's phenomenal. I've met Shelly. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. The leadership course, um, which I have also attended, uh, the size seminars. She's a you know the founder one of that with her mom and the president and and uh, Jane Wilhunt, and that's a PSI. I've been through that whole program as well, and so she's uh, I don't know where her picture is, we'll, we'll, but she's on the we'll show. Find so you it. I know her. she is on the show. And personal friend of mine, she called me today. She's like, how much more leadership do you need, Laura? You are a true leader. Just start implementing. Oh, you know, Shelly's phenomenal. Yes. Beautiful, yes. beautiful woman. Well, so they go to, again, Lauren, it's... PowerHourTV.com. PowerHourTV.com. Simple. All right. Every, all the other speakers have their own affiliate links. So if you know them, go on their links. It's a free, you know, free online show. I've devoted the last five months of my life to this thing and we're launching soon. And so I'm so excited you're here. If you're watching this interview, you're part of the show and I'm very honored and blessed and enjoy it. And thank you, Lauren, for being vulnerable, authentic, and being the champion from within that you are and unleashing your power. Um, you're fierce, feisty at Here. 50, fun. Oh yeah, your t-shirt. Woo <laughs> Yeah, so you want to be a fierce female, get in touch with me. I'm very accessible. My program starts. I've got five more spots. I'm looking for people that want to be a better version of themselves from the inside out. So yes, we're on it. Thanks, Lauren. Have awesome. a great night. All right. Thanks to everyone. Love you guys. See you on the <laughs> other side.